getting ready to do some concrete grinding on this floor here. So there's a cold joint in the concrete. For whatever reason, when they built my house, they originally poured it here, but it looks like they were about 18 inches off to where they were supposed to pour. So uh, it is what it is, but it's created a nice ridge. So when I set my cabinet bases here, it's it's just completely rocking on that ridge. So I'm gonna grind it down with a with an angle grinder that has a diamond head on it. You can see I've done a lot of grinding with this thing, barely any diamonds left, but when we do, it makes an unbelievably huge dusty mess unless you contain it. So part of the containment is this little dust shroud right here. Um, I'm not particularly a fan of this grinder or this dust shroud, but I had a grind one day and that was all they had at Home Depot. So I bought what they had and needless to say, I'm not happy with either one of them, but it is what it is. Now, the really important part of this whole thing is, is what you hook up to your grinder that has that dust shroud on it. So normally you would see a wet dry vac like this, you know, and it has a hose that you hook up and you would hook it right up to the vacuum port on the dust shroud. The problem is, is that these filters and these shop vacs, they look big, but they clog up with this dust. This dust, when you grind concrete, is so fine that within, I don't know, maybe three minutes of grinding the floor, this thing is so caked on with cement dust and um, just that fine powder from grinding concrete that it can't suck anything. It has lost all its suction and it's basically useless. So if you're gonna do a lot of grinding, then you need a dust extractor. So how is this different than a wet dry vac? Well, it looks very similar to a wet dry vac, but it is very different fundamentally. So if you actually open this thing up, you'll see that it has two different filters. They're a lot smaller than that, so you would think, wow, what do those two small filters even do? Well, this machine actually has the ability to back purge these filters. So as you're vacuuming and as this machine is on, you'll actually hear it with this little pulsating sound, and what it's actually doing is cleaning these filters off. So you get constant suction the whole time you're grinding or sanding. I hook this up to my palm sanders, my hand planer, my track saw, all of those things and it sucks up all that sawdust, all the dust when I'm grinding the floors and it just keeps on going and you don't have to keep stopping and cleaning out your filters. The other really cool feature on this extractor is you can plug your tool right into this uh, electrical outlet here. And all you do is you just set it to that setting there on the plug and then this vacuum, this dust extractor only turns on when I pull the trigger on my tool. It's pretty cool, so you don't have to be going back and forth. You can also select how much suction you want it to be, uh, you know, on, set on. So if you're just sanding something light, you don't want this thing just running like crazy, you can dial it down. When I'm doing concrete, I have that thing just cranked all the way up, and I set it on the, uh, on the plug feature. So my vacuum or my dust extractor just turns right on when I start grinding. So I highly recommend you uh, getting one of these if you do a lot of grinding. But I'll tell you, if you're just somebody that wants a wet dry vac, this is not the way to go. The hose is a lot smaller in diameter. I mean, look at that compared to your normal shop vac that's got the two inch hose on it. It clogs up if you're trying to like just vacuum up dust and debris off your garage floor. So it really is specialized and good for dust extraction. I mean, that's really what it is. That's what it should use, be used for. And then if you're just wanting a normal wet dry vac, then I would definitely just go with something like this. Any brand will do that has the nice two inch port on it and uh, can suck up a lot bigger, just debris, chunks of drywall, sticks, sawdust, whatever else, um, then this will definitely do the trick. Um, but that's my, that's my tip on dust extractor versus shop vac.